okay guys so i'm going to show you guys uh how to use this tool to uh, master an opening uh, really quickly okay i'm pretty excited to show you guys so uh, let, let's assume i want to learn uh to play the night of sicilian in the exact same way that gary kasparov uh, played it right um so the night of sicilian i'm not sure if you guys know but it comes about like this e4 c5 knight f3 d6 d4 c takes d4 knight takes d4 knight f6 knight c3 a6 right this is the knight of sicilian okay and this is a opening that uh, gary kasparov played throughout his whole career and um i want to play it just like him because I, i'm sick of drawing games with black let's say okay so um so what i can do first is i can import games of kasparov so here uh, i've already made easy to, easy to make by the way I've already made a database of all of uh, Kasparov's games in the night off. Let's just import those first, all right? Okay, so um, let's import it up to, this is uh, how many plies, which means half moves. Let's say up to move 15, which is uh, 30 plies. Let's just in, in, import all of those, okay? Boom. Uh, so it's importing those pretty quick. Uh, the database is about 150 games, so we're almost a third of the way there. Just give it a, about 20 seconds, I imagine. Okay, so what's going to be so cool about this is that we can, um, we're importing all of the games Kasparov ever played in the Night Elf variation throughout his whole career, right? And then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use his software to get it to train us uh, to remember all of the uh, the important theory from all of the Kasparov games, which basically will mean that we sort of borrow all of the theory that Kasparov ever learned about the Night Elf, and we get to add it to our own opening repertoire, right? So uh, 159 games imported, okay? So already from here, we can see all the moves that uh, white players ever played against Kasparov in the night off, right? Bishop e2, which is this move, uh, bishop g5, etc, etc. So we also have a, a little uh, box down here that will show us any annotations from the games as well. We also have an engine. If we want to uh, check um, the engine to see if there's been updates or improvements over Kasparov's games as well. So uh, let's... Uh, just um, install an engine here, just to show you guys how. Program preferences. Uh, we have this engine installed at the moment. Let's just install something different. Let's get one that you guys probably use. Stockfish 7, right? And let's just call it Stockfish 7. Stockfish 7, right? And that's what we're using now. Boom. Okay, a little bit of a... Error there. Okay, so let's let's say um, let's look at a line that a lot of people know in the in the night off bishop e3. This is very common. So Kasparov played three different moves here as black apparently. So we're going to choose one just to be our main repertoire. Let's choose e6, right? And we'll we'll make uh, these other moves. For example, e5 and knight g4. Let's just make those moves we're not going to play. So. Let's say uh, we'll make it a dubious move, right? Okay, let's just go back. We'll call that a dubious move, yeah. And e6 will make it our, our main move. So e6, f3, etc. And so, so we have, um, we can see even in this position, Kasparov has tried four different moves, right, throughout his career, right? And so we can quickly go through that and see exactly how he played it on the black side okay and that was uh came from a game he played against nigel short in 1987 right um so what i'm going to do so this now we have uh as i said we have every game that night off are uh, that kasparov ever played in the night off so let's go back to the move a6 and what I'm going to do is I'm going to say to the software, I want to figure out how to play this. So I went to commands and went to training. And I said, okay, computer is going to play white. I'll play the black side. Um, and yep, 
let's start from here. Okay, start. Now we're going to do some trainings. Yes, let's go A6. Okay, the computer has gone bishop E2. Okay, so I'll go, let's, I know here that theory is E5 and E6, so I'm going to go E5. Knight B3, bishop E7, castles. Okay, can I castle here? A4. So what this is doing, it's feeding me um, data from games that Kasparov himself played, right? So I go bishop e6, let's say, f4, okay. Now I know I can probably go pawn takes pawn here, queen c7 is also possible, let's try queen c7. King h1, okay. And I know I can probably go pawn takes pawn here, right? But it's not in the book, so Kasparov hasn't played pawn takes pawn here, so probably knight bd7, I imagine. Bishop e3, can I go rook ac8? No, okay. Well, I guess maybe now I go pawn takes pawn. And when he takes, I go knight e5, right? Yep, knight d4. Rook ac8. Nope. Hmm, what would Kasparov play here? Uh, well, that's surprising. Can I go rook fe8? No. Rook fc8. No. What did you play here, Gary? Bishop d7, perhaps. Um, knight c4. Now this is starting to puzzle me. Hmm. What? Queen b6, maybe. That doesn't make sense. F D eight. Okay. Um, ninety six, probably not. Oh, he did play ninety six. Really, he played ninety six there. Okay. So th this just showed me that in on in that position, Kasparov has played ninety six before, which. Yeah, it doesn't uh, come as the most natural move to me. Rook AC8? No. Mm. Rook FE8? Yeah, he played Rook FE8 there. Okay, so this was a game that Kasparov played in 1976 when he was a kid, and he lost the game as black. Let's continue training. Okay, E4, C5. Knight F3, D6. D4, so he takes D4. Knight takes D4, Knight F6, Knight C3, A6, Bishop C4. Okay, so let's see how Kasparov responds to the Sozin attack. I imagine E6, castles, Knight C6, he never played that. Okay, Knight BD7 then. Really? He only ever played B5? Or Bishop E7? Okay. Now on c6. Queen c7. Nope. Knight takes d4 and b5, I guess. Ah, this makes me think of the match against Nigel Short. Yes. And then e5, was it? I cannot remember. No, not e5. Uh, okay, c8. No. Oh, sure, e5 was the move there. Was it rook a e8? Okay, whatever. Let's stop the training. So bishop d5 is a move and a5 is... Oh, yes, a5. I remember a5. I don't remember bishop d5 there. Where was this from? Bishop d5, queen f1, rook a c8. 
rook d1, bishop takes, pawn takes, e5, rook c6. Oh, this is a sub variation of the game. Okay, fair enough. Uh, okay, so yeah, so this is one way that you can use it to learn an opening, right? You can learn it simply by, um, as I just did, importing your favorite players games in and uh, and getting it to test you on them, right? Uh, another way is, let's just get to our key position. Oh, another thing you can do, I should say, is you can prune. So let's start the engine. We have a uh, stock for seven here, right? And so let's try to make some improvements over Gary's games, right? So as we know, uh, engines are stronger than humans these days. So let's make some improvements over the spirals games. Uh, let's firstly look at some high frequency stuff. So we should be three e6 i know that f3 is quite common here bd7 g4 a6 yep this is the stop which wants to play queen d2 oh h4 okay we'll go h4 B5. And this is interesting. Rook G1 is what Stockfish wants to play, and it has been played by Gary's opponents as well. Uh, B5, I'm pretty sure Kasparov has had Queen D2 played against him before as well. Yes, he has. Queen D2, Bishop B7, I'm pretty sure he's had Bishop B7. He's played Bishop B7 himself, hasn't he? I guess not. Queen D2. Queen D2. Ah, oh, bishop B7. Oh, that's the move I just added. Okay. So B4. Let's see E2. And so the stockfish already likes this for black. So this is good. If we learn this line, we're going to do well. Uh, D5 and it's better for black, right? That's the evaluation. Can I copy that? Oh, no, probably not okay so this line looks good uh, let's uh, go back then what about in this Sozin variation bishop c4 or a6 bishop c4 e6 yeah, bishop b3 And again, Stockfish thinks the best move is knight BD, uh, bishop b7 here, but I know that knight bd7 is the most famous move, knight bd7. Yeah, castles. Knight c5. So have I just added that to my book? Let's see. Castles, knight c5. So that's added now. And see, another thing I can do is... Uh, leave a comment like uh, say 95 is my move here then I can put a comment uh, this what well, after this move black is completely fine white will continue with f4 and e5 or f5 something like this right uh yeah and so that's that's pretty useful okay another thing you can do so th this is uh assuming that i just wanted to uh model kasparov's knight off right uh you can also use it for like um if you have a book on openings um let's say you have a book like starting out in the scotch opening for example you can uh create a new um a new a new file with this software and you can um okay, let's go back to the very start you can enter in all the theory 
let's just stop stockfish for the moment. Let's let's say you were learning the scotch. You can enter in all your theory. Complete with annotations and all. D4. So this is is the scotch, right? And let's let's assume that um, I'm entering all this from a book and I don't know the theory as I do. And I take D4, uh, bishop C5, bishop E3, uh, queen F6, C3, knight GE7, uh, bishop C4, knight E5, bishop E2, um, I think queen G6, castles, queen takes E4, knight E2, and white has compensation for the pawn, right? Um, and let's go back a little bit. Let's say uh, after d4, knight takes d4 instead of bishop c5. Uh, he goes knight f6. Then we have this um, spiral of line knight takes b takes e5, queen e7, queen e2, knight d5, c4, sorry, c4, bishop a6. I think it's queen e4, knight b6. Um, b3 or something, right? Yeah. Okay, let's let's assume I've entered this anyway, and I know some more theory. I can enter it from my opening book. Um, and there is also, instead of knight f6, we can also go knight c3. Oh, sorry. Uh, Yes. Knight f6, instead of going knight takes c6, I can also go knight c3, bishop b4. This is also possible. Bishop d3, d5. Oh, maybe black castle first. Castles, castles. d5. E takes, c takes. Bishop g5, c6. And I think Gary, uh, Vladimir Kramnik was playing queen f3 in this position somewhere. Uh, and so that's another line we've entered. Entering all of our theory in here. D4, E takes D4, Knight takes D4. And there is also the move Queen H4. Which is a gambit line we're going to sacrifice. So let's say Knight C3, Bishop B4, Knight D B5, Queen takes E4, check, Bishop E2. And this is also a line, bishop takes c3, b takes c3, king d8. I think this is the line, right? And castles, and white's gonna get compensation for his pawn because the black king's in the center, etc. And so let's say I have my, my opening book that I've just bought from Amazon or whatever. I can enter all the important lines I wanna remember into here and then just get it to, and I can, I can update it with stockfish or whatever if I want to. I can add notes. Uh, let's say white will have compensation due to black's king position, right? Whatever. Did I just put two eyes there? Whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, no, I didn't. Okay, so, and all of this, and uh, yeah. I can even add exclamation mark castles, whatever, right? And if he goes a6, so I can go knight d4, and then bishop f3, and rook e1, and get some conversation. But uh, anyway, so on that, then I'll do, and this, as you can see, these, these are just my favorite features. There are a billion features you can use with this software, by the way. Just thought you might want to know. You can even export this ebook. That's, okay, whatever. Um, anyway, so now I'll go training, and I'll get the computer to play black, random coverage, so it tests me. And yeah, this looks good. Okay, so boom. Oh, sorry, I should go back to the very start of the game first. Okay, and let's let's go. Oh, but I okay. E four, E five. Okay, let's train from here. Knight f3. 
Okay, so we're going to train our scotch. Okay, d4, pawn takes, knight takes. Uh, let's assume that I have to remember this stuff. Okay, so bishop e3, queen f6, c3, knight g7, bishop c4, 25. Hmm, what was the move here again? Bishop e2, right? Yes, okay. Queen g6, he's got forking my pawns, but I castle, and he takes, and I go knight d2. Right, yes, I remember. Good, okay. Continue training. E4, E5, Knight F3, D4, Knight X, Queen H4, Knight C3. Do you guys remember what the move was here? Knight DB5, right? Queen takes E4, check. Whoops, Bishop E2, takes, takes, King D8 to defend the C pawn, castles, A6, okay, whatever, Knight D4. And as I said, we have compensation. Right, and so uh, yeah, as you can see here, you enter in all of your theory, and then you get it to test you and drill you. When you don't remember, it'll tell you, and then you try again. And when you keep doing it, it's like lifting weights; you get stronger and stronger. Your memory for these positions gets stronger and stronger. And this um, this software has actually been used by um, a lot of um, even strong, strong grandmasters, twenty seven hundred club guys, and uh, that that is how they and and even me now. Uh, what they use to um, memorize theory, even very complicated theory, is just by rote learning exactly like this. It's the best method possible. Um, so I suggest you guys give it a try. Knight f6, uh, knight x6, e5, queen e2, c4. It wasn't a B3 or so. That's the end of that line. Okay. So, um, yeah, that's uh, pretty cool. Easy to remember opening theory. And it's, it's kind of fun. It's kind of gamified, right? You have to try and remember it all. Um, you will never be able to forget theory. Especially, um, you can you can also tell it to uh, keep feeding you positions. It's, it's based on a, on a method of uh, spaced repetition, which um, we use in learning foreign languages as well, where things that you get wrong are fed back to you more frequently and things that you master every time are given to you uh, less frequently, right? If you've mastered something every single time, it's not going to test you with it as much. And then it will test you uh, further away. Um, you can Google spaced repetition if you don't know what spaced repetition is, but it's a good learning method. Anyway, let's stop this training here. Let's stop the video here. Uh, for now, you guys um, come over to the blog post um, about this software and um, click on the link to grab a copy for yourself or grab the PDF that's with it. Okay, so um, yeah, hope you guys like the video. Hope you guys like this excellent opening training software. I'll see you in the next video.